it. It is 6.05. So it's time for us to get started. Were you live? Oh, yes. I came on live a little bit later because my son woke up and he was crying and he only wanted his mom. So I came on like 6.18 ish. So that's why you didn't see me exactly like around six. The struggle is real this morning, but I won. Yes, <laughs> especially with the weather. It was a work to get out. Yes, sometimes it's a struggle, y'all. But we just, because we made it up in our mind and we're holding ourselves accountable, it propels us to do otherwise. <laughs> Good morning. Having lower abdominal pain, so won't be working out for a few. Oh, okay. Take care of yourself, you know. Thank you so much for sharing the live. It's 12.05 in South Africa, and you are, are you going to work out, or are you going to just watch? <laughs> Good morning. I'm so proud of myself. I really wasn't going to get up. Oh, my. What, so all of us are living the same life. Hi, Abundantly Favored. Welcome in. You are new. We're, we're going to get started in a few seconds here. Good morning. Good morning, Lin Linda. Good morning, Witty Mom. Um, yeah, so it was a struggle for us to get up this morning, but guess what? We are doing it, and that's all that matters. Am I going to use a little weight or no? No, I'm not going to use weight. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. We're going to walk in place. If you're new here, I'm Tanya. I go by Tanya the Introvert, Monday through Friday, 6 a.m. Eastern Time. I'm up working out. We are up working out together, so you're welcome to join all you got to do is hit the follow button and set up your notifications on my page and you can get your workout in. All right. Whew. All right. So we're just doing a little warm up now. We're walking in spot in the spot. Good morning, Leo boss, babe. Good morning. And Tom. Oh, I didn't see you team. Yeah. <laughs> and Bab just went back to bed. Yes. Good morning to Ray. Good morning, Candy. Welcome. All right, so we're just walking in place for about 30 seconds. I got my timer today, so I'm good. Let me tilt it so I can see. Okay, there we go. So 10 more seconds of walking in place, and then we're going to get started. And if you're new here, again, 6 a.m., Monday through Friday. All right, so now we're going to get started. We're going to do the side-by-side. And these little exercises, they feel small, but you really feel it, All right? 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, engage your core, 3, 2, one, <clears throat> that's how you're going to build up your core muscles is by engaging them all throughout the exercise. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, now we're going to go up and down, up and down. We're going to do this 20 times. 17, 18, 17, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, you can do it. Three, two, one. Whew. That is awesome. That is our first round. Very light. Good morning, Ruth. Just finished a workout. My original group. Now on to the hard stuff. Whoa. <laughs> Good morning, Sahara. Sarah. Sarah. Keep on moving. Hi, very, very merry. Good morning, Tanya. Same name. And I am so proud of that girl, Attic. She is back with us. Whew. So just keep moving in place. This is our break. 
Make sure that you are, you have your water nearby so you can get a sip if you need it. All right, that's our 30 second break. Let's get back into it. All right, we're gonna do four rounds. This is round two. 16, 15, 14, 13, engage your core. 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Side to side. Don't forget to breathe, guys. Don't forget to breathe. 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, you can do it, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, up and down, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, engage your core, 9, 8, you can do it, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, you can do it, 1, Whew. that's round 2, this is low impact cardio, do you do this every day, Monday through Friday at 6 a.m. Thank you for the follow. Thank you for sharing the live. Good morning, Celestina. Good morning. And if you missed the live workout, I have a YouTube channel where I upload the lives right to the YouTube channel. Whew. I got a sip of water because I needed it. All right, we got 10 more seconds. Keep your body moving. Thank you, Lena, for the rose. Deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. All right, so now we're gonna get back into it. This is round three. Round three, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, you can do it, five, four, three, two, one, side to side, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, nine, 10, five, eight, I skip numbers when I wanna go, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Up and down, up, down, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13. Keep going. 11, 10, you can do it. Nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Whew. All right, round three. We got one more round to go. And a 30 second break. Keep your body moving. Your daughter says she likes the lives. Thank you. Good morning from Jamaica. Good morning, Brenda. Thank you so much for putting that in there. Let me see if I can pin it. All right, so I'm pinning that. Keep on moving. All right, that's our little break. For this round, we're gonna give it all we got. You wanna make sure and go a little bit lower in the beginning. Get your legs. 100% involved, <laughs> all right, 20, 
19. Oh, the pin only lasts for a little bit. 17, 16, 15, I'm lower. 14, I'm, I'm engaging the core. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, you can do it. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Side to side. 19, 18, 17. Engage your core. You can do it. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. Pick up the pace a little bit. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We're going to go on our tippy toes this time. Tippy toe. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. You can do it. Give it all you got. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one. Whew. And that's our cardio. Thank you so much. That is our cardio for the morning. Keep your body moving. We're gonna get into our core strengthening challenge. Oh my gosh, I gotta catch my breath. All right. So a lot of people ask questions like, do you guys do core workouts? And we're actually doing a core strengthening challenge, which you are strengthening your arms back here, your back, your glutes, your thighs. It's all one workout to help you strengthen your core. And I can vouch for this. And I'm sure everyone in here can because you feel like you feel your core getting really firm. And my muscles, I don't know if you guys can see it, the muscles are starting to be developed even more. All right. So if you haven't started, the challenge is a 15 day challenge and you're off on the weekends. But one of the best core workouts that I have ever been introduced to and you don't have to get on your back at all. All right, so I'm lifting a 15 pound weight. If you have a five pound or a 10 pound, you can do the exercise with that. If you have a five pound, you wanna do a little bit more reps. If you're further down in the days, further along. But if you're just starting out, you can start out with five pounds. Um, if you're in the middle, try to increase that if you can, or just do more, more reps and do them slow, all right? That's how you can avoid having to always buy weights, just by doing the reps slower. You'll still feel it. All right, so we're gonna get started with this challenge. Legs are a little bit wider than my shoulder with just a little bit, just a little bit. All right, you're just gonna get down, you're gonna stick the butt out. Stick the butt out and go up. All right, we're gonna do this 15 on the right and 15 on the left. So that's 13, 12, engage your core, 11, 10. So it's not a full on squat, you're just sticking the butt out. Eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. All right, now on the next side. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. You can do it. Nine. Eight, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, one more, one, oh my gosh. All right, that's round one. We have two more rounds to go. We're gonna rest for 30 seconds. All right, keep your body moving. You wanna keep your heart rate going. You don't want your body to cool down because you're gonna work like eight to double hockey sticks to get it back up. Good morning, Alan. All right, deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. All right, as you're doing this workout, please make sure that you are having full control of the weight. Do not swing it. Don't swing it, take your time. If you could only do eight, just do eight. If you could only do five on each side, just do five. All right, we don't want you swinging the weight. Good morning, Vonda. All right, let's get back into it. All right, so 15, remember, stick the butt out. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, engage the core if you can, 6, 5, thank you for the hearts, 4, Three, let's go. Two, one. Next side. We got this. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. Nine, we could do it. Eight, seven, six, five, whew, four, three, two, one. All right, put that down. 30 second break. Deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. Keep your body moving. I'm gonna get a sip of water. I can feel that I'm gonna be really hungry. <laughs> really hungry after this. But I'm making pan pancakes. Okay. Probably after I drink my stuff, I won't be that hungry. All right. We have two more seconds left. Perfect, let's get back into it. This is our last set. So for this one, I'm gonna switch out for the last seven to do it with a heavier weight. You don't have to, but just challenge yourself to do like three more, if you can, for the last set. All right, 15, 14, 13, make sure you're putting your weight on your heels. 11, 10, 9, 8. All right, now I'm going to switch it out with a heavier weight. Let's see if I can do that. 7, this is 20 pounds. Six, five, four, three, okay, two, one. Oh my gosh, I did that. I did that. All right, so I did seven. All right, so I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Good morning, big, big knees. 15, 
14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, all right, so that's 8, we're going to do the last 7 with the heavier weight, I got a match, this is 20 pounds, you don't have to do this, but I'm just showing you how to do, how to increase your weight, little by little. Four, three, two, my shoulder is cracking, one. Okay, so that's the core strengthening challenge. Today is day 15, so it's our last day of doing that exercise in the form of three sets for every workout for the past 15 days. I thought you were coming on because you were. <laughs> Big knees, the storm is not going to stop me from working out. I'm going to probably lift weights. I'm going to lift weights while the storm is going on. Because it gets so crazy. It gets crazy. And if you've ever been in a hurricane, you're just sitting there, hearing all the noise, getting a little bit paranoid. But you can't do nothing about it. You can't do nothing. So you might as well just enjoy the day off. If things get crazy, and it's really going to be somewhat of a Category 3, which a Category 3, most homes can survive. Now, Category 5 now, that's when it gets a little crazy. All right, so we're going to do arms. Good morning, greetings. I think we should keep in rotation. Keep in rotation, yes. The core strengthening challenge was a really good one. I really enjoyed it. No lies. <sighs> All right, so we're going to grab our weights and we're going to do arms today. We're going to do a simple bicep curl. You want to keep your elbows locked in, though. Keep your elbows locked in to your side. Don't do any of this. All right? You want to lock them in. You want to go up for resistance. Do not rest at the top. Resistance, 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 resistance. You should never feel rested. Okay? We're going to do 12. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, we could do it, 5, 4, 3, 2, Okay, we can do it. One. Ay, ay, ay. All right, we're going to rest that. And lifting weights, again, ladies, is not going to make you look like a man. Okay? <laughs> I can do 10, 15 progressive. With the weights, I definitely feel the difference. Yes. Florida. Florida, there's a hurricane headed to Florida. And to the other states like Georgia, I think is. New Orleans, well, we don't even know because storms have their own mind, but it's leaning more towards Florida. All right, and, and when you lift the heavier weight, you actually feel stronger, you're building muscle. Women, it takes us so long to build muscle. So don't be afraid, don't be afraid. All right, so we're gonna do 12 more. Don't forget, do not rest here. So your arms should never look this straight while you're doing the exercise, okay? Up for resistance, down for resistance. 12, 11, 10, you could do it. 9, 8, 7, try to keep your wrist straight. 6, ooh, that's how you know I'm pushing it, okay. 5, 4, if you're not making faces towards the end, three, oh, gosh, two, oh. oh my gosh, one, I gotta do one more. All right, 
And that's how you want your face to look with your lifted weights. <laughs> Good morning, Lena. Thank you guys so much for the follows. Whoa. It was coming in really heavy. Thank you guys so much for the likes as well. But the core strengthening challenge, we will continue to work with that because my core did not look like this in the beginning, even though we do other stuff too. But it takes a while to build those muscles, even though they're already there, but it takes a while. I guess because you got all that fluff. We got all that fluff in the front. So that's why. <laughs> all right, so get out your mat. If you cannot do um, the crisscrosses that we're gonna do at the end, make sure that you do the standing core exercise, which are just like this, all right? Or like this, whichever one you want. You can do 30 of these, which this is one. So when you do both both legs, that's one. Same, same thing for the front. You can do 30 of these. So both legs, that's one. That's two, okay? Um, we're gonna do our donkey kicks or fire, fire hydrants. Let's do the fire hydrants. Let's just challenge ourselves. <laughs> we're gonna do the fire, fire hydrants. <sighs> Let me angle the camera. All right, we're almost done with our 30 minute workout. I got my resistance band for my fire hydrant. I'm gonna get around my pillow, which is right here, to protect my knees. Because if you got bad knees, you wanna keep them protected as best as possible. That's why I'm using the pillow as well as the yoga mat. You only got, um, well you can get knee replacement, but we don't wanna do that. <laughs> Okay, so anyways, fire hydrants, we are gonna do 10 on each side, and we're gonna hold it for five seconds at the end of our 10. All right, so 10, nine, do your best. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, two, three, four, five. Leg down, let's do the next side. That's easy. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, five, four, three, two, one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Woo. Did we feel that or did we feel that? So we're gonna rest for 10 seconds. And then we're gonna do another 10 with a hold for five seconds. Deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. All right, let's get back into it. All right, so we're gonna do 10 on each side. Don't forget to hold your leg up for one second during the count, okay? So it's 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, we can do it, two, one. We're gonna hold it, five, four, three, two, one. Oh my gosh. Is anybody feeling it more in the other leg? <laughs> in the other glute? All right, next side. Deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. I feel like I gotta brace myself. <laughs> 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, we could do it. One, hold for five seconds. Three, two, one, ay, ay, ay. We are done with the fire hydrants for today.
All right, the sweat is coming down because our head is down and now the sweat can come from our head to our face. All right, so we're towards the end of our 30 minute workout. We started at 6.06, it is now 6.35. And we're gonna finish it. Wow, my glute muscles are already feeling that. Ooh, okay. So don't forget, if you put your hands under your body, you're using, you're supporting your body and not really using your core muscles to strengthen them. But the more your hands are not supporting your body during the crisscross, the more of your muscles that you're using, okay? But it's okay if you gotta support yourself. So we're gonna do this for 30 seconds. 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, you can do it, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Whew. Awesome, 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 awesome job. We're just gonna hold our legs at a 45 degree angle in the next 20 seconds. And we're gonna do that for two minutes. Two minutes. Whew. Deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. Anytime you need air, don't just, if you do that, you're exhausting your lungs. You wanna take a deep breath in through the nose and then blow that out of your mouth when you remember to do it. A lot of times we're just breathing like, but when you catch yourself doing that, just take a deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. And it helps you to normalize your breathing again. All right. So we're going to hold our legs up for two minutes. Do the best you can. It's at a 45 degree angle. If you feel like your legs are getting tired, they're getting close to the ground. Just start doing some leg movements. Open, close, flip them, go up and down. You're working your core muscles. I can honestly feel like my core muscles are stronger because I'm able to do this stuff with ease. So all you got to do is stay consistent and your core muscles can get stronger. And that's really what you want. I know some people say they want a six pack. You don't want a six pack. I know you don't want one. You just want a flatter core and a stronger core. Just stay with us and you'll get there. You'll get there. All right, keep holding your legs. Y'all, yesterday my AC was broken because my husband nicked the thermostat cord wire that was on the outside. So yesterday I was expecting to sweat bullets, but I didn't. I'm very surprised. But it wasn't that hot out here but I was expecting to really put on a good sweat. I'm glad we got the AC fixed, even though the hurricane is coming and we might lose power, but hopefully we don't lose power. I hope not. Cause then we're gonna be so just hot looking outside. <laughs> I gotta bring my plants inside. All right, so we have a few more seconds left. Just keep on, keep on holding on. If your legs touch the floor, just bring them back up if you can. Or you can call it quits. All right, so we got like 15 more seconds. 15 more seconds. We could do it. Five, four, three, two, and one. That's it. That's it. We did it. That's the workout. So if you are new here, that's the 30 minute workout. Now we're gonna get into just our cool down, which is doing some stretching. 
and stomach stomach vacuums, which help to strengthen your core as well. So we're going to take a deep breath in. Blow that out. Now, before we do this for, for the newbies, I want you to engage your core, which is when you can when you contract your muscles that are in your core, right? You're going to poke your stomach so you can feel that. So you feel them? Good. Now, what you're going to do is take a deep breath. Let's do one. As you blow that out, you're going to engage and contract those same muscles as well as flattening your stomach as best as you can. And you're going to hold that, not your breath. You're going to continue to breathe. And we're going to do this for 15 seconds because I've been talking for five. So <laughs> 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, four, three, two, one. All right. So that's how we do one laying down. We're going to stretch now. So you want to extend one leg out, bring one leg in, take a deep breath in through the nose, blow that out of your mouth and bring that leg in closer and hold for five seconds Four, three, two, one. We're going to extend that leg. All right. And we're going to hold this for five seconds. Three, two, one. Good job. Do the same thing with the next side. Bring that leg up. Deep breath in. Bring the leg in closer. Blow that out. Three, two, one. Extend. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. Now we're going to get up. And we are going to just lean forward slowly. And just grab the front of our toes and pull ourselves as much as we can. We just want to do our best. If you can't reach your toes, that's fine. Just extend your arms. You want to make sure and get a, a good stretch. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job. And now we're going to turn over. And we're going to do a stomach vacuum like this. But this is called... It's a yoga pose, angry cat. All right, so you want to take a deep breath in. As you blow that out, you're going to curve your back upward, but you're also going to engage those same muscles and tuck them in. You're going to continue to breathe, and we're going to hold this position for 15 seconds. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, four, three, two, one. Take your time when releasing. That one is really intense. All right. We're going to count for five seconds and we're going to do it again. Two, one. We're going to do it one more time. Deep breath in. Blow that out. Engage your muscles. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Release. All right. And now we're going to just extend, extend our bodies. This one is a good stretch to do. This is one of my favorite stretches. I don't know why. I feel like it, I like things that work more than one muscle. <laughs> I like to kill. I'm sorry. I like to do multiple things in one move it's more beneficial and it's faster that's how i see it <laughs> all right so now we are done with our workout that is it and that's 30 minute workout with a 10 minute cool down let's call it um 